looks lit. He looks pretty lit. Margarita coming off the screen now. Find out my top. But I'm on top now. We're in the lane. Gets rejected. Gets a follow up. Another block. Well, Cooper Flag. Make it three times. That is unbelievable. Cooper Flag, excuse me. They're about to take a three pointer. USA now slow this one down. And it looks like flag left wide open. And Cooper Flag hitting a big time three pointer. And when Spain play that 2 3 zone, just able to spread the defense. And we go down to a dive around now. Dive around. Give it go with Lagarita. But gets rejected by Cooper Flag. Well, he's to do now. Checking back in the game. Flag nailed up. Hesitation. Get flag bumps. No foul pool. But again, just how strong. But no foul pool there. And now, all the time, he throws it down with a two headed gentleman. So the only person that is ranked higher. Then Cooper Flag is Carlos Boozer's son, Cameron Boozer. I'm learning all of this for the first time right now. <laughs> he getting up. He gets up. Oh my God! That's on the number one rank. That's on the number one rank. Freshman, he just dunked on like that? What the hell? We gotta come out with the fight against Ian Compass Prep. Wanted it more than we did. We didn't have the fight. So he's the best player Take it right to on the, the top ranked high school team. Hey, yo, this nigga Cooper Flag, he might be the one. Not the two. <laughs> he might be the one. Not the two. 32 in the black, 6 9 and a half. Can do it all in both ends. Tipped away now. Here come the Eagles. We saw him denying the wing. Watch this. Denying the wing, overplaying, gets around, almost hits the ground. I say he's tough because when you're in Maine, you know, you got to be tough. 6'10 lefty, strokes it from the outside. Yeah, he's disgusting. This kid's nasty. I'm convinced. I'm convinced. I'm convinced. He's going to be number one. Watch out for him. Watch out for him. As he goes to the rack and Mott Bird. Pull it deep. Woo! Dump it down low and off the glass. He still has two more years of high school. But he's 6'7", 200 pounds on the best high school in the country starting prime time. I don't know. This might be the nastiest white boy I've ever seen. He still got a ways to go, but from what I've seen so far, he looks like he has the potential to be the nastiest we've ever seen. The grit, the grit, he, I don't know if that's because he's from Maine or what, but he seemed like he got that, that dog in him. <laughs> he was up by 20 points still getting blocks. I definitely think he has the dog in him. All right, y'all, that's going to do it. Shout out to Courtside Films. I'll leave a link to their channel in the description. If you guys want me to watch the only person ranked above him, this Cameron Boozer guy, we can check it out. I think it's interesting that they gave these guys 96s in their grades. And if you look up 
2024. None of these guys even have 95s. And if you look up 2023, none of these guys even have 95s. This is Bronny's class right here. Yeah, so I think it's interesting that none of these guys even have 95s. And they're giving these three niggas 96s. That's gonna do it for me. If you've seen a white boy cold, then let me know. <laughs> but this is this is about as good as it gets. <laughs> I've never done that. <laughs> Anytime anybody has ever said that in the history of sports, nigga, it was bullshit. It was bullshit. They care about how they do. They care about how, how they look. They care about their performance. They care about what everybody else thinks about their performance. They care about where it ranks. They care about what the bitches think. They care about all of that. It ain't just about winning. That's cap. We not finna sit up here and act like Jokic only cares about winning, which is never done and he don't care about MVP he don't care about getting triple doubles he don't care about being picked up last if he don't care about being picked up last then why the f did he get out of his seat